Hi everyone, Jelen here and welcome to a new video. In a recent article I published on the Linux set and more blog titled This Property Bios UFI Top 3 Open Source Boot Firmware, I covered the best Linux hardware with open source firmware. One of the standouts was not a custom laptops. Well, guess what? They sent me a review unit. One of their upcoming cool boot laptops currently in pre the V56. While open source firmware is a major selling point for non custom laptops, there is a lot more to explore. This is an unboxing and first impression video, so we will not dive deep into the details just yet. We will save that for the full review, where we will go in depth, as always, inshallah. Before we jump in, a big thanks to Nova Custom for sending me this review unit and for the speedy shipping. I also want to be clear that Nova Custom is not sponsoring this video, nor do they have control over what I say. Okay, it seems that Customs already opened it and inspected the package before us. That is why we see this tape covering the Nova Custom tape. Apart from this, there is nothing special about the outer box. Anyway, let's cut this tape. I don't know why, but I always feel excited when hearing this sound. Interestingly, Nova Custom used three packaging boxes to protect the laptop. Unlike most companies that use only two. Therefore, I can honestly say that the packaging is excellent. We need only the inner box, so let's pull it out. While it doesn't look luxurious, it is solid and does its job of protecting the laptop. Now let's open the box and see what it hides. A silica gel packet to keep the contents dry. A power cord. A 90 watt power adapter. A microfiber cleaning cloth. Screw, a thermal pad for the second NVMe, a multi language manual which we rarely read, and the Video Zero, the V56. There are no hardware stickers, and by the way, I never stick them on any of my Linux laptops. What about you? Now let's make room for the Hero. We still need to get rid of the white foam and the pink plastic bag before we can really get our hands on the V56. This confirms that the laptop is very well packaged. I can feel that the laptop is slightly heavier than my current one, but it is still light, especially for a 16 inch laptop. The silver color of the laptop's metal lid with the new Linux tech and more logo looks awesome, doesn't it? This is just one of the numerous customization options Nova Custom offers. The bottom case is also made of metal. The laptop is slim, compact, has a metallic look, and is not a fingerprint magnet. Now let's lift this beautiful lid and unveil the face of the laptop. It effortlessly passes the one-handed opening test. There is a keyboard cover that protects both the keyboard and the display, ensuring no contact between the keys and the screen. The palm rest is black and laser engraved with the old Linux tech and more logo. It doesn't feel like metal, but it is definitely not cheap plastic. What do you think of this combination of a silver lid and a black palm rest? Moving on to the keyboard, it is full size with a four column number pad, a feature that many users like accountants and data scientists will appreciate. The keys are black with white sides for better backlighting. The super key is also engraved with the Linux tech and more logo, adding a personal touch to the keyboard. Additionally, the keyboard comes in my native language, which is Arabic. They support most languages with the option for a self-made custom keyboard layout. The touchpad is not spacious, but not tiny either. It's very smooth. This is the smoothest touchpad I have ever used. It is really comfortable to use. Now let's remove the screen cover. This V56 Coolboot laptop features a high-quality 16-inch QHD Plus IPS display panel from LG, 
with an aspect ratio of 16 to 10. It has thin bezels, but the bottom bezel could have been thinner. What about pressing the power button to see how good the display is? The boot process is somewhat slow because this review unit comes with the test version of the Shark Core Boot. However, a stable version with fast boot times will be available very soon. And it will also allow us to change the boot logo too. Stay tuned for a video about it and don't worry. Nova Custom has made the firmware update simple and easy. And your device will be shipped with the stable version of course. Coming back to the display, this matte anti-glare display is brighter than my current already impressive Infinity Book Pro 16 Gen 8 display. It provides vivid colors and sharp images with a refresh rate of 144. I believe I won't miss the visual experience offered by the Infinity Book Pro 16 display when using this laptop. Above the display we find a 2 megapixel full HD webcam covered with an optional pre-installed slider, offering extra privacy with no more black tape. Unfortunately it looks like there are no IR sensors, so no real facial authentication support. Switching to ports, the right side hosts the DC in jack, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port, and the Thunderbolt 4 port. Yes, you guessed it right. This is an Intel powered laptop, a concern that we will discuss later in the review video. On the left side, there is a 2 in 1 audio combo jack, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A powered USB port, a micro SD card reader, and a Kensington security slot. On the back side, there is only an HDMI output port and an RJ45 LAN port, so no need for a LAN adapter. Is there anything more you need? That was all for the unboxing. Remember that this is just first impressions, and the full review is coming in the upcoming days. So subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching and see you later.